Hello YouTube, I'm Stephen Hartley from Banbury UK and we're on the 13th of September 2013 and uh, this video is going to be called God and Jesus I think so you know about that could say God or Jesus well no it's either one or both <laughs> sorry this is rubbish okay that was a rubbish start but I don't edit so we just carry on okay so all right what's brought this up uh, two days ago I was doing my usual YouTube um, listening to Sarah Troar Tra 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 something like that anyway um, put a link she you know I definitely like her sort of prophetic talks they're very good and um, and her latest one you know the end you know what came through to me at the end was you know God saying now just just to rest and then I saw a video by Natav Natavia Sudevi put also a link and it was like wow time to time to bring things up get to the God consciousness so I thought wow you know this okay because so says Sarah Trowell said sort of you know God is coming close nearer and nearer he's going to reveal more and more so I kind of went on that and then on her video she kind of presented this guy that we haven't seen before or I haven't and um, he's a Christian so he's got a big cross he's a white thing I don't know which Protestant or whatever but and um, she sort of, you know, they they've decided to see, you know, to start this thing to get people just not from just watching videos anymore, but to really get in, meditate, get really high in the meditation, get towards God consciousness. <coughs> then they also mentioned Christ consciousness. <clears throat> so then you follow the links that she's left, and you get to this website that's explaining where what this is doing and you know there's a meditation technique that they can give us today that we can start using today to get to this God consciousness or Christ consciousness then he says let me present to you something like Natavia Sudevi is going to lead you to the God consciousness and for some reason I read that as let me introduce you to God <laughs> And it suddenly clicked for me because, like in the film Dogma, God is a woman, and I have been sort of seeing a female with long black hair, um, pale skin, and I'm wondering if that was God. Okay. Just, you know, like a little sideline thought I leave there. Because mainly lately I've been saying God is the light. Mm -hmm. Okay, so anyway, I got the wrong end of the stick then. Phoned my mate in this sort of <laughs> excitement. You gotta see this. Anyway, but then I thought, right, well, no, I'll read the rest of it, you know. And I realised that that's not what they meant. She was just gonna tell you the techniques to get to the God consciousness. And it's just like follow the 12 steps, and you know, you're. you're you obviously have to get your life into some sort of situation which I'd say mine probably already is anyway okay so then you read and then then you read the next web page that the link is on oh, nice. this is going to be the meditation technique and it's going throughout all the history then um, about Jesus and I probably should read that again but I kind of skipped through it waiting for this meditative technique and it thrown in there was the odd picture of him. I mean, this should have been a warning shot for me. Well, it was in a way. And then it sort of said, right, to get started, you just have to read this prayer. And and it was a prayer sort of talking to God and saying that my life hasn't really gone the way it's probably planned. And in a sense, that's true for me because I'm getting a divorce after being separated for five years. So my marriage didn't work out. And I have a child and obviously that's a little bit see him a lot but you know still sort of well only live with mummy sort of stuff which is weird 
anyway so yeah you know I could I could dig that and um, but then after a few lines it then goes into sort of to say how you have to say that Jesus is the Lord and the only way we can get to God and that then sat in my mind because when I've been doing this meditation and I've been seeing the light you know I haven't got to a stage where the light is all encompassing I haven't got there yet you know I understand it's going to take time so I don't expect to be there and I just sort of thought I wondered maybe there's a veil there that can only be lifted by Jesus so you know thinking it's all possible so I read the prayer out loud and I make the statement that Jesus Christ is the Lord then it turns out that wasn't the meditation technique so you can read a bit more further and then then he gets to the crux of it so the meditation technique is to chant a mantra and that mantra is Domine Iosu Christi Miserere Mia and translate it that is the Lord is Jesus Christ or Jesus Christ is the Lord have mercy on me or Lord Jesus Christ have mercy on me so I was doing that I actually sang it I got my guitar out I actually put a couple of chords to it it was, it was nice it was actually nice nice feeling but <laughs> then I went out for fag because it was I'm cutting down smoking but I was due one so it's you know been kind of quite okay with that anyway I really coughed thought well maybe like now I've chanted that Jesus is going to help me to stop smoking completely anyway I came back in a bit later I went out and finished it it was alright I didn't cough <laughs> um, so nothing really amazing that day you know that was the evening anyway I went to sleep didn't have any dreams or anything you know that not that anything that stuck out and, um, and then the next day was all right I suppose but today has been really shit <laughs> and I've become more confused and I've never been confused in my you know not for years and years and years I have not been confused about my feelings of God and from having when I first read the Bible and thought the New Testament has definitely had stuff added you know it's not as it's intended yeah and within that speech from this link I was talking about um, he he said uh, God wrote the Bible and I did laugh when I read that and because I was kind of into his thing while I was reading I thought oh no I better not laugh but yeah I mean, you've got to be realistic in these things. That's why I think, you know, a lot of the Christians and Jehovah Witnesses just think they take things too far because they take the Bible too literally. I mean, I've read the Bible. I've read it cover to cover. New Testament and Old Testament. I've read the New Testament twice. And I've read certain sections of it more often too. And, um, yeah, you know, you don't get that feeling when you read the Bible. When you read the Old Testament, you get the feeling they're talking about a long time ago. They're not predicting what's going to happen now. Now, it may be that something that occurred then is a, something that occurs every so often, or aka Nibiru, <laughs> and therefore those same symptoms would then be applied to when it comes back around the next time. Yeah. So they're not. It's not. I mean, it could. I don't think it's code. I don't think there's hidden code. I mean, the, you know, the Bible it speaks. There's parables and things like that. And of course, you know, they can be applied to at any time. But I don't. I think you know, people see it as more than what it is. It's a book full of words. And what I think special about the Bible is. It's what it's just something you can read that you know has been around for a long, long time. So you know some bloke didn't just make it up in the 1960s. It's 
Sakurai Sitchin if he did make it up. I'm not sure. Maybe he embellished. Who knows? You can't just trust... Sorry, this is off tangent, but this is to Cliff Harty, who just disregarded Zachariah Sitchin because of apparently now having the, the real source, the real translation of those stones. But if it's just one other source, and from who knows where, it's only just come out, how do you know that they're not lying? Right. Back to this thing. So, okay, so I've had a shit day. So you think... So what do I think? That is maybe because I'm not being good enough, Jesus is making me have a shit day to make me more good. You could I that's what I could think. Um but I actually think that it's been God's sign, a punishment, in a sense, for breaking the first commandment. And the first commandment is you shall serve no other God but me. So it is the one God, the creator of the universe. That's my God. And, you know, you can kind of possibly conceive that it is true that Jesus was came into a human form and died so that we could somehow then be on that level with him because he was on that level. But, no, come on. I believe that when a fox dies... He's got a soul. Believe that flying has a soul. I mean, could you have a soulless animal? Have you ever seen an animal that doesn't want to live? If you didn't have a soul, you, you probably wouldn't care about living or dying. Well, I don't know. But I think the thing that proves if you have a soul is that you can't imagine ceasing to exist. Can you? If, if you can, I've never met anyone who could. I don't think. Sorry if I'm speaking too quietly. Um. So, yeah, my, so then, right, so coming back to this sort of conclusion then, I've been led down a false path, I believe, I'm coming back to that thought, I have to mull things over, I have to, so I mean, even then when I was taking it on, I was accepting, I was taking it on to see a day or two, to let it sit, and it hasn't sat good, that's basically what I'm saying. So it's led down a false path, and this is the, um, you know, this is possibly the trickery that's lying ahead. They're going to set up Jesus. They're going to bring out Jesus, and I think it's going to be false. We'll have to wait and see what happens, but it's kind of a warning to anyone who's who's been told stuff like this, you know, to chant something over and over. It's a bit weird, isn't it? I know this much. God's answers are pretty simple. They're clear, plain. And when I saw that answer of seeing God as the light, and that's something that came to me through meditation and wasn't somebody else's words, in a sense, in my meditation, it was somebody else's words. Somebody had died. But that was in my meditation. I wasn't reading anything. And it brought it real in. So, this is me saying, you don't need Jesus to get to God. God is there for everyone. Anytime. He's always there anyway whether you like it or not that is the beauty of it okay thank you bye